Hey, how's it going? Mikey here, and today I'm going to show you tips and tricks to unlock all camos on your assault rifles. I've already unlocked diamond camo on every weapon in Black Ops 2. Links to those videos in the description below, so let's get started. If you're looking for the fastest way to level up your weapons, you want smaller maps. Smaller maps equal more action, more kills, and shorter games. If you bought any of the map packs, delete them. All the DLC maps are mid to large size and are going to take up more of your time. Now as a bonus, you'll notice you'll find games faster and you'll usually have a better connection since the game will now match you up with a larger player pool of users who don't care about new maps. Remember, you can re-download your maps at any time for free. Next up, game types and game modes. For the most part, you can play whatever you want. The ARs are usually only 2-3 to three shots to the head to kill someone and are fairly easy weapons to use. For the exception of the single shot rifles, the FAL and SMR. Some of you may not have the best trigger finger and you might have a hard time with those at least until you unlock the select fire attachment. If you're having a hard time with the FAL and SMR, just play hardcore kill confirmed or hardcore domination. There those two weapons will be a one hit kill almost anywhere on the body. You'll want to stay away from hardcore TDM since it's slow paced and we're here to get diamond as fast as we can. Moving on to score streaks, keep them low and simple. UAV, Hunter Killer, and Counter UAV. We're here to max out a weapon, then move on to the next one, now go for 100 plus gameplays. I use the Hunter Killer so much because it's annoying, it ends kill streaks, and takes down enemy UAV. Next, let's talk class setups for each challenge. Your first challenge is 100 headshots. People always ask, how do you get easy headshots? The fact is, there is no trick to aim for the head. You just have to train yourself to aim high. Practice makes perfect. That said, to increase your chances of a headshot, the quick draw attachment is a must and the red dot does help with aiming. For perks, you have to have toughness. This will help keep you on target while taking fire. And for your two top tier perks, Ghost and Blind Eye. There is nothing more annoying than being right up next to your target, you're about to get the headshot, only to get killed by a random hunter killer. If you haven't already, you should have used a prestige token on Ghost. It's the best perk in the game. Now if you're really bad at lining up your headshots, you can use stuns and shock charges and just stun people right before you walk up to them for the headshot. Just make sure to use tactical mask because you will end up stunning yourself sooner or later. If you're having trouble with the FAL or SMR, use the select fire attack once you've unlocked it, play hardcore modes or do both. Next is the 10 long shots challenge. For this you'll want large maps while playing hardcore kill confirmed or hardcore domination and equip the target finder. Love it or hate it, it's just way too easy to get long shots. Most of the ARs act like snipers in hardcore mode. For your class setup, ghost, blind eye and remember to use cold blooded instead of toughness. You don't want anyone to find your hiding spot from across the map. Once you've got your 10 long shots, do the community in favor and don't use the target finder anymore. It's a cheap attachment and you're not going to become a better Call of Duty player by having the game show you where your targets are. This was something made for your Nana to use when she wants to try out your video game. Next up, 150 kills with no perks or attachments. This is when you should be prestiging your weapon to lose your attachments since you will have no use Use for them for a while. For the most part, ARs are pretty good even without attachments, so just play whatever game modes you like. Again, if you're having trouble with the FAL and SMR, just play hardcore, one bullet anywhere on the body and they're pretty much dead. For your class setup, double EMPs to give you easy assist points and use Tactician to double up on shock charges. Both will give you 50 score points if someone kills them after you've stunned them. And finally spend a point on a launcher to help take down any air support. For our final challenge we need 10 bloodthirsty medals. That is 5 kills with your assault rifle and a single life. You can get a kill with your hunter killer or secondary weapon as long as you get 5 AR kills in that life it will count as a weapon bloodthirsty. For my class I went full stealth and a silencer and I played both core and hardcore. Mix and match whatever works best for you. Remember these videos are guides to show you what worked best for me. This isn't what you have to do so feel free to change it up. Please take 3 seconds to rate the video and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my god! Now first off, this is only available for Xbox and PS3. If it changes, I'll let you guys know. And as you can see, there is a slight tinge of blue, these little blue boxes on here. And we're going to look at some other weapons too, so don't worry. But right now we're just looking at it on the Assault Shield. That is the largest way to look at it. We'll look at it in third.